Hey guys, welcome to another video. This is the MR04 EVO 2 by Kyosho, a 128 scale RC car and the successor to the MR03 EVO. The MR04 EVO 2 is a new chassis that comes with the new EVO 2 electronics, which has a new censored brushless ESC, and it allows for significantly smoother throttle control compared to the older EVO 1 that used a censorless brushless ESC. The chassis is said to be 98% redesigned, but at first glance it seems 98% identical. But as you look into the details, I think there are quite some notable changes to the chassis. The version of the car I got is the model with the green 4100 kV motor, which comes with a new MM2 motor mount and damper. If you were to get the version with the blue 5600 kV or red 8500 kV motor, it comes with a new low center of gravity 98mm motor mount, with no damper and just a top shock. Unfortunately, out of the box, the MM2 damper is not very smooth, so I'll recommend wet sanding the damper plates to smoothen its movement. All of the MR04 EVO 2 cars come standard with a ball differential that is very smooth right out of the box. In the rest of the package, you get the usual extra pinion gears with miscellaneous plastic tools and motor spacers, receiver cover, battery clips and wheel nut tool, some spares and allen keys for the ball differential, and for the first batch of the MR04 EVO 2 cars, extra top cover plastic parts in black, as the first batch of cars come with the grey versions installed by default. There's also parts to convert the car from narrow to wide or from wide to narrow configuration depending on which chassis you get, but I didn't really show it properly in this video. But anyways, before I get into my driving impressions, let's get into the details of the new chassis. The MR04 comes with a new redesigned front suspension that is based off the all-wheel drive cars and is very smooth compared to the older MR03 which used to be quite sticky and unresponsive. I would say that while it may not be as smooth as the double AR arm from PN Racing, it's surprisingly close. And actually, I find it slightly better than the one on the MA030 EVO. Unfortunately, there is one downside from the new suspension. There's nothing physically limiting the travel of the suspension, so if the suspension compresses too much, the steering knuckles will pop out, and you will have to reattach it manually. This may happen if you were to be in some hard crashes or if you hit the wall at a bad angle. And I'm sad to say that it has already happened to me a few times on track. The front knuckles now use a larger internal diameter bearing of 3mm, which is now the same as what it is used at the back of the car. The car also has an improved scrub radius that is shorter than the MR03 by 1.5mm, which means the wheels turn closer to the axis of rotation, allowing for more responsive and predictable steering. As a direct effect of this, I'm able to fit and run the McLaren P1 body with a plus 2 offset wheels and trude tyres, even though this car is meant for use with 1.5 offset wheels. The car also has a slightly lower battery mount position, which is difficult to tell in pictures but visible in person. In terms of part compatibility, the old EVO receivers will work perfectly fine, but Kyosho did release a bunch of new EVO 2 receivers that are slightly faster than the EVO 1 receivers, and have additional features. For example, the KO Propo EX Next controller supports telemetry like live motor rotation speed and battery voltage alerts. It can also change ICS settings on the fly without plugging it in to the computer. If you are curious, I've included a link in the video description to KO Propose video. Moving on, the T-plate mount is the same, so you can make use of aftermarket T-plate mounts made for the MR03 without problems. 
rear motor mounts should also all be compatible, as the sensor motor is also the same size. For the front of the car, take note that from the front suspension changes, the MR04 uses different spring sizes. Some MR03 battery clips will work fine with the MR04, but do take note that it will be slightly tighter than usual, and there will be a tiny gap between the battery clip and the top of the battery, as the new MR04 has slightly lower battery mounting positions. The first to fourth servo gears seem to be the same as the MR03, but when I installed them, the gear mesh seems to be too tight and it wouldn't move smoothly, though I've seen some people on Facebook claim that they were able to get it working fine. The top damper mounting positions are also slightly changed, to accommodate the censored wire. This means that dampers that mount to the four screws on top will no longer fit the car, like the older MM2 damper from Route 246. I'm expecting Kyosho to make new dampers in the future. Dampers that only fit to the two screws at the back should fit fine, though there may be some clearance issues. For example, the PN Racing multi-length damper may block the ICS port if you mount it in a certain way. So if you use this configuration and want to use the port for a transponder, it will not fit properly. Also, the MML damper from Route 246 will collide with the new screw mount at the front. I personally cut the screw mount off as my set came with the extra top cover parts. After cutting the post off, it will fit perfectly fine. Now, the new EVO 2 board upon testing will not be able to run the motor with the sensor wire unplugged, which in my opinion is pretty shitty, since you cannot run sensorless motors. The sensor cable also seems to be proprietary or uncommon, but on the Facebook groups at least, Daniel managed to make a custom wire and is able to get the EVO 2 board to drive an aftermarket censored motor. From scouting feedback on the car on Mini Z groups, it seems that the censored motors from the MR04 EVO 2 are slower than the MR03 EVO. So the censored 4100, 5600 and 8500 kV motors are slower than their censorless counterparts. But as I don't have a MR03 EVO set up right now, I have not been able to test it yet. That's it, I've managed to get a hold of the Tamiya 4WD speed checker and from initial impressions, it does seem that it's still pretty fast. As my very fast PN car tops out at around 27km per hour, while the 8500kV with a 9 tooth pinion tops out at 36km per hour and the 4100kV tops up at 22km per hour. I've driven the MR04 EVO 2 with a couple of my body shells and I must say, wow it's really really fun to drive. The steering is incredible, as it is super super responsive and the car turns really well. In slower chicken turns, I'm able to turn with lots of accuracy and agility. I noticed that compared to the servo in the EVO 1, the EVO 2 feels more accurate and precise when you make smaller adjustments on the controller. That, together with the new front design, makes it handle amazing, and I just don't want to stop driving it. For my car, I'm running the Route 246 MML damper and MML motor mount, with the 4100kV motor and a 9 tooth pinion. Even though the motor I'm running is slow, the car can still pull some decent lap times, and run together with a couple of guys at the track, running the Atomic MRZ with a faster motor. I, on average, was trailing behind slightly one of the guys that use a MRZ. So, the following week, I decided to run the red 8500kV motor, and it definitely cut down my lap times. One thing I noticed with the red motor, is that it lacks low end torque, which is why I ran with the smallest pinion, in order to get it to accelerate quicker out of the corners. The car does traction roll in extreme situations if I turn at full speed and steer too much in some corners, but in 90% of the time, it is very stable and very easy to drive. From the lap times, I'm incredibly impressed with how close it was able to get to my PN car that runs on lithium-ion batteries, which accelerates faster with higher torque. Anyways, that is all I can really say about the car for now. It's a really good upgrade from the MR03 EVO with amazing steering feel, which makes it easier to drive the car more consistently and push harder without losing control of it. 
Maybe I'll make more videos of the car in the future, maybe not. But as always, thank you so much for watching my videos. And I'll be leaving you with footage of my drives on the track. Goodbye, and keep on drifting. Oh, my God. 